Hi, hello and welcome back to our channel. So in this video, let's see how to create pages and edit layout in Odo 14 website community. So let's directly go to our website. So here we have our website module after installing it from Odo App Store. So here we can see uh, all the created websites. So we have my website, my website too. And here you can see a dashboard uh, that is the analytics report. So in order to create a website pages uh, for your website, you can just uh, click on this go to website and directly go to website and okay. So here we can see this is my website and if you want to switch to another website, just click on this and you can see web my website too. So let us click on that website and if you want to create a new page for your website, just click on this new and here we can see a lot of options shown. So we can create a page a blog post, an event, forum, a job offer, a new product or a new course. So this is related to our e-learning. Okay. So if you want to create a new page, just click on new page and here we can provide the page title. So if you are creating an about us page, you can provide the name of the page. And if you want to add a menu, then just enable this option and click continue. So a new page will be created with a menu so you can see the menu here so if you want to switch to a page just click on this menu. and when you create a page here we can see editing option so uh, this contains that is we can add building blocks to our page so now we don't have any data that is any information uh, in our details in our page so we can add building blocks to this page so here we can see different structures like uh, text with image then we can add, add pictures numbers big boxes uh, then we have carousel for our website so you can add that to your website then columns so you can see different columns here and we have a lot of our features like we have timeline building block then if you want to see add product catalog that is price list you can just drag and drop to your page and there are a lot of snippets there is a lot of widgets available in website then below you can see uh, some dynamic contents that is uh, we can add website form builder if you want to create forms uh, on your website uh, you can use this form then we can add google map uh, then we can add countdown snippet then blog post uh, events then there are some inner contents including uh, blog code badge rating then we can also view the progress bar so you can add these building blocks to your page and we have done uh, some videos on widgets or snippets available in Code 14 website so don't forget to watch those videos okay then so if you want to make some changes to uh, some objects like here we have different fields so if you want to make uh, that is make changes to the those fields you can just click on that object and here we have styling options so uh, here we have our price list and if you want to change the number of columns so now it is 2 if you want to change the column to 4 you can just click on that so you can see the columns number changed and we can edit the background color we can replace image then change the position it can be a repeat pattern or cover then we can set the content width so we can change the content width then height then scroll down button can be added then description then we can see some settings styling options related to column so if you click on some object you can see a lot of styling options related to that object so if you click on submit button you can see some styling options related to that here we can see styling options for submit button then we also have some uh, like extra options to customize your theme so when you click on this options, you can change the theme color. Then we have a lot of theme options like 
font settings button and then input settings and we have website settings and all so after adding changes you can save this from here or we can discard so i can save this and after saving uh, the changes you can publish this page so now we can see you have published your page okay then here when you come under pages you can see some options to edit menu so when you click on edit menu you can delete or edit menus or we can add mega menu item then we can see option to change the page properties so uh, when you are in a page now so you can see now we are in about us page and we can change the properties of the, our page so here we can edit the page name and uh, then page url and if you want to duplicate this page you can do that and if you can also delete a page and we have some properties that is related to a publishing uh, publishing our page so here we can uh, include let us show this page in top menu then it can be used as home page whether it is indexed so it is indexed then it is published you can see it is already enabled then we can also set the publishing date then the visibility of the page it can be visible by it can be made visible to public or to signed in person people or to some users so when you select some users here we can select the group of users and we can also make visible this page only after entering some password so here we can provide that password okay so these are the page properties available so when you click on a page you can just change the page properties set the page properties then we have option to manage our pages that is we can view all the pages so here we can see our contact us page thanks thank you and we can see the url of the page and see whether this page is included in the main menu whether it is published uh, then whether it is indexed by search engine and whether it is uh, the page is seo optimized search engine optimized so you can see with uh, from here and we can manage this page and yes optimize seo of this page and we can also clone this page and delete this page so this is how we create page and manage pages and uh, manage the that is layout now let's go back to our website module so here we can see something that is we can view the visitors and views of our pages so when you click on visitors you can see all the visitors last action done by the visitor total visits last page visited then total number of visited pages then total leads or opportunities um, registrations created and we can also contact this visitor by sending sms chat and email then we can also view that is all the views of the pages the page viewed the visitor of that page url when if product is created you can see that then the visit date or and time also and we have done a separate video on visitors and views website so please check that then uh, here under configuration you can, you can also create pages that is here we can see pages just click on that and you can view all the website pages created its url website name in which it is published then uh, whether it is indexed published then last updated date time then whether that page is tracked or not so we can add link trackers for your page and you can also create a page from here and add the view name view from here then website in which you want to publish the page then whether it need to be tracked then whether this index published publishing date and here we can add related menus for our website page so in this way you can create page from back end so that's all about creating pages and editing layout in odo 14 website